don't you try and stick to conventional therapy try me normal the sky is blue oh, finally. first thing i wanted to talk to you is, is about this curiosity that um i have about how is the relationship with apple tv plus you've been working with it with tell lazo then bad monkey and now shrinking i mean shrinking and then bad monkey how is it? What, what is going on there? I no, know it's, that you it's a good question. Look, be happy with them, but yeah, I don't what get to. Coming? I don't get to say stuff like this a lot because you know Hollywood tradition is kind of a, a contentious relationship between you know oh I don't want their notes I don't want their input, but um, uh, it's probably one of if not the best creative partnership in my career. You know they were so supportive on Ted Lasso, um, and I would be lying if I didn't say they, they, they are so respectful and, and trusting of me creatively that, you know, even Bad Monkey, I mean, for me to call over and say, this is something different than what I normally do that I want to try. And they're so supportive. And by the same extent, whether it's uh, Matt Chernus or Jamie and Zach and uh, uh, Dana, uh, I know their names because I, I relish their input. It's a, I didn't expect to have a career renaissance at this age. I'm like 70 years old and uh, I'm not. But I'm close. No, the uh, and uh, uh, it's a giant thanks to them. I appreciate you asking. Yeah, and and it looks like um, all the Ted Lasso success is coming to to this uh, more longer partnership and more trust in what you do. And I know that sometimes uh, things don't go the, th the the way you would like to. But what about drinking? How do you feel about it? How how was your expectation at the first season? Making a, a a series with a, um, a huge icon, you know, that <laughs> everybody was looking forward to see Harrison Ford in, in, in this character. And now you have a season two. Oh, well, it's such a, you look, uh, I'll tell you, um, it is a true highlight of my career. And I've been doing this for a long time to, you know, have this relationship with Harrison Ford and get to write things down that, um, he says, uh, even if he's not always sure what the hell we're talking about, it's so fun. Uh, and he's so funny and so good. But like the, uh, the biggest treat for me in shrinking is Jason Siegel and, uh, Harrison are so generous as performers that they've really encouraged it to be an ensemble show. And so, um, yeah, Jessica Williams, Ted McGinley, Krista Miller, Michael Urie, they're all veterans. They're all so good. But I've just been talking about watching Luke Tenney, who plays Sean, and Lukita Maxwell, who plays Alice, those young kids. Um, not only were they great to begin with, but get better and better. And watching them, you know, uh, throw things back and forth with Harrison or Jason or Jessica, it's so fun for me. It's a very rewarding time in my career to take credit for other people's work. <laughs> But they all look for you. What, what will you think about the work, right? I mean, they're, they're always like, this is, a, this is not a, just you saying what to do. They all have. They're all very, say. very possessive of their characters and they own them. But look, I, 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 I try to pass out credit because um, you're very lucky in any job. It's not just Hollywood to get to work with people you'd want to spend time with anyway. And the writing staff of this show is so talented. Um, the people on the crew that, that grind and work really hard are so good. Um, it's just definitely a career highlight for me. I'd, I'd keep doing it every year if I could. Awesome. Till you're 100. <laughs> thank oh, you so thank much. you. It's too nice. I was uh, so waiting this season, this new season. I was so, oh my God, how much time we have, we, we're going to wait for a second season and we have it now. I know it took a long time because of the strikes. I'm so sorry, but I hope it was worth the wait. Yeah, it is. It, it, it was worth it. Tell us a little bit about Brian uh, from the first season. Now, how you see him in the second season? What can we expect from him? Yeah. Okay. So Brian, you know, at the end of season one, he gets married, um, and uh, he, his, his his sweet husband Charlie and him are now um, now contemplating fatherhood in season two. And I think Brian maybe didn't think this through. <laughs> I don't think he quite realized uh, what being a father might entail. And Charlie is all in, totally gung-ho about being a dad. And Brian, Brian's a little bit afraid of his own shadow. And um, he's just not sure he's ready or 
will ever be ready. And uh, so we get to explore that a lot in this season, which is really fun. And I also think um, his friendship with Jimmy is, is, is put to the test uh, in, in season two in a way that it hadn't been before. I mean, it's, it's gone through several tests all along, but we, we get to explore this cool thing um, that I, I don't think we've really seen on TV before where um, Brian and Jimmy became friends before Brian's coming out. And, um, and, and this relationship bridges that gap, but uh, he's a different person now. He wasn't his whole self before um, coming out. And now that he is, their relationship has to evolve. And, and, and I think it's a, it's a pretty cool exploration that I'm, I'm really proud of. Yeah, I was gonna ask you that because I know there's, we don't see this type of stories so often on TV, how, what does it mean for you to be able to to tell this story that it's going to inspire other guys to do the same, maybe? I think it's really cool. I mean, I have, you know, um, uh, uh, I'm a queer person in his 40s, and I have some really good friends who are straight men. Um, some of my best friends are straight men, and, uh, and, and that's a, a relationship we don't get to see a lot. Um, but it's real, and and I think it's quite beautifully done on this show, and uh, and it isn't without its uh, wrinkles, you know, uh, because there are inherent differences between straight men and gay men, and um, and and sometimes you got to face them head on, and uh, especially the ones that predated a coming out. So we get to do that, and I, I, I think I think. I think we might we might help some people. Yeah, I I think that I, I like to think that too. Yeah. How can you describe shrinking in only three words? How do I describe shrinking in three words? I would say um, three words. Let's see. Uh, tragedy plus time. <laughs> Great. Give it. Con Mavi Ganji.